Hey guys, Benny G here from The Pedalhead Show. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing great, thanks. Today is gonna to be a shorter video. We're gonna be modding this vintage Boss CE2 from 1983, made in Japan. So I bought this pedal about a week ago and I noticed that you know it's pretty beaten up and the LED was kind of dim, even on 12 volts. So this kind of like, you know, I didn't really think about it at the time, but today I was uh, playing around on my guitar. I noticed the LED was flashing in a very faint way, like not all the way from like on to off, but like kind of going dark and going back to bright. But it really made me worried. Like, is my, my pedal not working anymore? Is it on its way out? But thankfully not. So what I was able to figure out was that this pedal works properly with the battery. Okay, so if I plug it in here to the input jack, turn it on, LED is fine, no blinking. But what I noticed was the flashing would happen more depending if I had the depth cranked. And as we see here, no flashing, okay? And that's on battery. So this was kind of weird. So I, I plugged the DC cable in and out and I saw the LED get darker or dimmer. And when I unplugged it, it went brighter. So I figured it must have something to do with the power, either the power jack, this guy, or maybe the resistor and diode that breaks down 12 volts down to nine volts. So thinking, hopefully it's just the diodes and resistor that changes the 12 volts to nine volts. I took this pedal to the soldering bench and thankfully the LED light is no longer flashing. It's brighter than ever. Now it works on nine volts and I'll show you guys how over here. So let's go see how I did this mod. Is that in order to change the CE2 from 12 volts to nine volts, we have to remove or jumper D5, diode five or resistor 53. Okay, now the only thing that's difficult about modding a CE2, especially an old one, is that they're not labeled. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description of another guy who modded a vintage Boss CE2 to be true bypass and work with a PSA adapter. And we all know that PSA adapter means nine volts. And there he explains which points to solder a jumper in order to make the Boss CE2 work with nine volts. Okay, that's all. First thing to do is just see how long of a jumper we'll need. Say about that long. If you're hanging any wire cutters. Small little jumpers made. Jumper on three. Gotta give it a second to cool. Push it down here to four. Need this up and apply some solder. There, jumper is made. A nice even jump. Let's go test it on nine volts. All right, so let's see the LED without the plug. Do you guys get what I'm talking about? Pretty bright, all right. Turn these lights down. Pretty bright. Just equally as bright as this old BF2. Now, nine volts, 200 amps. Perfect. So my problem was I had the LED dim and it was flashing uh, when I bring the depth up and it kind of also would flash to the rate and it wouldn't sound as good either. So now this confirms my assumptions that it was the resistor and diode causing the problem, which is awesome. Now.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.